Hello fabulous Aries, welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2020 looking at life and love. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. It is this month that we are going to have a few important celestial events. One includes of course our normal lunar events, a full moon happening right around the 7th and then two weeks after that a new moon. Now as far as lunar events go we have calmer skies this month than we certainly did last month with all the very shocking and quick moving energy of that time. But there's something else taking place, a larger phenomenon, and that is by the time we get to the middle of the month, we've not only got four planets retrograde, including Venus, but it is going to be your ruling planet Mars that is going to move into the sign just before yours, and that amplifies the reflective and deeper quality of this time. In key ways, it is going to be a time of transformation and a time of meaningful change, a time of deep self-honesty, realizing what stays and what goes. So let's start with what is happening with these lunar events because lunar events tend to be what we feel most on the surface. It is going to be right around the seventh of the month that there will be a full moon in a part of the sky for you that has to do with transformation, regeneration. It has to do with being deeply honest with yourself and making a decision as to what it is that you want to carry forward into your future. It has to do with what your intuition is telling you. In fact, the intuitive energy of this full moon for you is incredibly strong. And on another layer, this part of the sky is connected to your relationship to financial institutions. So I know that for a lot of the world out there right now with the social distancing or social isolation that is taking place, I know that there are a lot of people whom are thinking about uh, their relationship with being able to access benefits that they qualify for, being able to access funding. This full moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune and standing across the sky from Mercury. It does look like documents going back and forth, trying to figure out how to get the best person to talk to, to connect with is going to be part of the picture now. But if it is that you are one of the people hoping to access funding, well, this full moon can be very helpful to you thanks to that beautiful, almost magical energy of Neptune infusing this time. At the same time though, this can be a time of being more deeply honest with yourself as to what life it is you feel that you're moving towards and where it is that you're ready to make perhaps some really big changes. Wherever it is that you are being honest with yourself as to what you do and more importantly, do not want to carry into your future, it is going to be that very contemplation and consideration that is part of what is allowing you this energy of rebirth at this time. It can very well be that you are one of the many people right now who is being more reflective about your life and about what it is that once all this distancing is done, what it is you actually hope to not just go back to but move towards and that moving towards is going to be emphasized for you especially around this full moon. Now as I said as we approach the middle of the month your ruling planet is going to move into the sign just before yours and that will bring with it a sense of closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters and understanding more deeply what has served its purpose in your life. Now, as part of this, there may be a sense of restlessness that begins in the middle of the month, an antsiness, if you will, for the changes you desire to experience. As we navigate late into the month, right around the 22nd is when we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is happening in the same sign that Venus will be retrograde in by this point, but it is speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn. I love this energy for you. I feel like this energy brings stability, brings maturity and responsibility that you embrace at this time. 
given where this new moon is taking place, it is speaking to key conversations, communications, contracts as well. Yes, it is going to be Venus retrograde in the same part of the sky. And if you watch the Venus retrograde special horoscope, you know I said there's gonna be a lot of confusing energy playing out for all of us. So you still do want to be careful and yet this can be a very valuable time to feel as if you are able to make gains on where it is you're hoping to solidify an agreement. It can be that siblings, cousins, and neighbors come through for you in wonderful new ways at this time as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus retrogrades in the middle of the month. Venus is speaking with Neptune all month, very heightened confusion, uncertainty energy, but then there's that Mars in the sign just before yours. Now, just that connection with Venus and Neptune can indicate closure, but for you, it becomes that much more likely. The full moon in the early part of the month can also speak to vulnerability, especially for those of you in established bonds. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, you are one of the most likely to feel like you are connecting with people online. I did speak about this at length in the Venus retrograde special horoscope for your sign. But it is important for you to be mindful of things like getting catfished, especially with this energy. I'm looking not only at Venus, but I'm also looking at what is happening with Mars and with your own desires, perhaps not necessarily seeing things um, in a very grounded perspective. However, we do get that window with that full moon that allows you to see through some core of truth, even with your own heightened hope for this time. And that could end up being the insight, the truth that you need to feel as if you're able to move in a more steady forward direction. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this can be a time where you may feel mixed feelings or you may feel like you're very swept up in a moment. But remember, it is important to pace yourself with overall energy like this. I'm not saying that things can't work out. There's so much hope and belief that they can. That's a wonderful thing. But I do think that it's a good idea to pace yourself, especially at this time, as we move towards greater stability and clarity. And for those of you who are in an established bond, it is gonna be that full moon that becomes that much more a dominant energy. That full moon may speak to your partner's finances. So if you're hoping for some good news on that front, that can be some very encouraging developments on that uh, front. However, this energy can also play out in terms of being more deeply honest with each other, being more vulnerable to each other, and that can help to fortify the love. What I love about this month for you, well, I am going to say I do love the new moon late in the month because it is so stabilizing, because it is so strong. It does look like you have the right contacts, you have the right connections, whether you are connected to people in a larger group endeavor sense or whether it is uh, much more spontaneous, much more immediate, much more one-on-one. -on -one. It does look like a time when you are seeing through the more illusionary quality of this time and finding a greater grounding. At the same time though, not all illusions are for naught, right? There's so much hope, there's so much belief in love that is pervading all of us. There's a desire for love that is in the air for all of us. And for you, you are willing to see with eyes of love. And that can make just about any interaction a truly loving one. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.